Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Yasudian, a consultant dermatologist based in the UK. When we look at the color of our skin, the grass is always greener on the other side. Those with white skin want to get a tan and those with dark skin want to become fairer. For those with dark skin, there are many skin lightening products available in the market. Today we will review the use of oral glutathione, a common supplement, and examine its effectiveness in making the skin lighter. Even though intravenous glutathione has also been used, I will not be reviewing it in this particular video. Glutathione has been available in some countries such as the Philippines for many years. This drug has recently made inroads in the subcontinent too, particularly in India. One point to note is that if you want fair skin, the best way to achieve it is to prevent sun exposure on our face. Apart from physical protection with the use of hats and umbrellas, the use of tinted sunscreens is crucial and I've made a video on this earlier. The role of glutathione as a skin lightening agent was actually an accidental discovery when skin lightening was noted as a side effect of large doses of glutathione as was reported in this article published in 2002. Glutathione is a small low molecular weight water soluble protein formed from three amino acids, glutamate, cysteine and glycine. It is found in fresh fruits, vegetables and nuts. Tomatoes, avocados, oranges, walnuts and asparagus are some of the most common edibles that help to increase the levels of glutathione in our body. Glutathione is thought to work by inhibiting the formation of melanin, which is the pigment found in the skin. Let's look at three studies where oral glutathione was used for skin lightening. All were double-blind randomized studies, which is usually regarded as the highest form of scientific proof. The first study was published in 2012 and was from Bangkok, Thailand. 60 healthy medical students were randomized to receive either glutathione capsules, 500 mg a day, in two divided doses, or placebo for four weeks. At four weeks, the skin pigmentation decreased consistently in all six sites in subjects who received glutathione. Here's an image from the study showing the picture on the right revealing slight reduction of pigmentation after four weeks of oral glutathione treatment. The authors noted that glutathione has a more beneficial effect in the sun exposed areas. This suggests that it has a more potent action preventing new areas of pigmentation from sun exposure rather than existing pigment. The next study was published in 2017 and was again randomized double blind placebo controlled study. Healthy female subjects were equally randomized to take either oral glutathione or oxidized glutathione at a dose of 250 mg a day for 12 weeks. The results showed that pigmentation at all sites, including the face and the arm, tended to be lower compared to placebo. At some of the sites, subjects showed significant reduction in wrinkles as well compared to those who did not take glutathione and were on placebo. So glutathione may have an anti-aging effect as well apart from reduction of pigmentation. The most recent double-blind study was published in 2021 and combined oral and topical glutathione. The results suggest that glutathione is helpful in lightening the skin when used orally and topically and it's better when it's combined. The yellow line in the graph is the combination of topical and oral glutathione and resulted in increased reduction of the pigmentation of the skin. So what is the dosage of glutathione that is recommended? Manufacturing high dose glutathione tablets is technically difficult so many add other ingredients such as vitamin C. The dose of glutathione on its own should be about 1 to 2 grams per day divided into two doses. There are some tablets available as lozenges and therefore they may be able to bypass the gut because they are taken under the pill and in from the buccal mucosa. The tablets are freely available online or in health food shops as a supplement. There are some limitations to these studies as well. They had small numbers and the follow-up period was only 4 to 12 weeks. The plasma levels conducted in human volunteers did not always correspond with the amount of glutathione that was taken orally. Finally, within a month of stopping oral supplementation, the glutathione levels returned back to normal and therefore the pigment lightening may also come back to baseline. 
Finally, what are the potential side effects of oral glutathione? No significant adverse effects were noted in any of the studies. One potential side effect is that it can lighten the hair color just as it reduces skin color. However, this has not been noted in clinical practice. In conclusion, glutathione taken through the oral route may be a safe and effective way of lightening skin color. However, larger studies are needed to establish the long-term safety of this supplement. I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you for listening and bye.